How is it to dance with him? Yes. How is it to dance with David? Okay. Uh. In 1988, Bowie danced with La La La's star dancer Louise Le Cavalier in this satellite telecast from New York, choreographed by Locke. Uh, so it was really absolutely charming and very seductive. And it's very hard to come on stage when there's thousands of people watching you. And so they have this person that's at the same time the actor, the singer, and it seems to be like just a human being that's really totally uh, looking at you and liking you very much. Yeah, there was, there was certainly this gender thing about him that was known, and, and maybe he, had, he was uh, attracted to the company because there was a little bit of that also, or maybe a lot of that, in our work. I think how I was also as a performer, uh, this kind of androgyny that was really natural for me. It was not something, uh, a character that I developed for stage, it was myself. But uh, maybe he recognized a little bit himself in that. Oh, uh, it was really a shock for me when I found out with the news uh, of the death of David Bowie. Uh, once in a while I, I was thinking about him and hoping, oh, maybe he's going to show up at some performance somewhere. Or, but now I realize, okay, this is not going to happen anymore. Uh, he, David Bowie, had uh, a beautiful impact in my life. Uh, not because I, I dreamed of working with a big star. This has no meaning for me. Just because as a person, I really liked him a lot. He, he, he was challenging and he made life exciting. And uh, it was fun to be liked by somebody that's so uh, special. And so that's, that was my link with him, something very unique. And I miss that, but also I can, this is part of me, it's not gone.